Welcome to Setio Reviews, and this time I have a Caution Each uh, Pro Gaming headset. It's a stereo headset. The box got a little bit smushed because it was coming from America, and I don't know what's wrong with these um, post people, postman's delivery people. I don't know. They just like <laughs> just smush the box. Hopefully the headset is fine. As you can see, it's been like thrown or something. I really don't know what's wrong with these people. Someone should just... Mm. <laughs> okay. I mean, do that to them. But, um... Ooh. Has that been opened? Uh, they probably opened it in the custom sign. No. I don't know if they did or not, but I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh yeah, there's a, there a bomb in here. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I would get this view. It's a freaking headset! Okay, so. Um. <coughs> looks blue. Nothing in here. Shiny. Classy. So. Let's examine this thing first. Um. Let go of this. Okay. Let's, let's check the headset first. Has really, really nice padding. It's this kind of memory thing. It's like. Uh, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's pretty nice. I like this material. Nice chromish look, bluish. It has a lot of lights in here, which I will show you. So it has really nice look. I do like it, and the logo and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. G two thousand. I believe I did say that. Caution each. It's like caution. <laughs> caution. Caution. <laughs> I can't even say it anymore. <laughs> I completely messed up my tongue. Uh, that's the microphone, obviously. Uh, that's that's all it goes. It's like dun -dun 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 -dun. and now if it moves sideways, no, it doesn't. So uh, I don't know. The first look is awesome. I have to say, it looks pretty cool. Uh, that's that's pre oh, that's that's a chrome in here. Look at that. That's that's pretty awesome. And the other side. It has some texture in here. Uh, that's that's quite nicely done, I have to say. Right, let's put the boom back up. I don't know how well it um, isolates. It doesn't actually turn, so I can't really see. Uh, show you the inside of that. Well, I hope that was fine, but um, is that a button? No, it's not. So let's examine what's what's all this in here. Uh, all this stuff in here. Obviously some cables and stuff. Uh, yes, you can connect it through the USB and through analog, obviously. It's a stereo, so it has only for the headset itself and that's for the microphone. That's the pink one, so. But through the USB, I don't know. It should have an internal sound card then. I don't know. I think it does have. Let's uh, take this apart and see how long the cable is. Mm, it's fair, I'd say it's maybe like two meters. That's the control unit. Uh, this this is something I don't like. I have to mention it right now. Oh my God, the wires are twisted. I mean, if the headset is on your head like this, I mean, where where is this gonna sit then? I mean, look look at the distance between this. This is gonna just hang down and just pull down the wire. This should be like, uh, I don't know, further away from the headset. But this is the volume, I believe. Yes, that's the volume. It's just up and down. And this is, uh, what is that? Okay, that's the microphone. Off, on. I don't know what this is. That's not even a button, is it? No, that's not a button. So that's, that's all it seemed to be. Seems like this this is not a button, I don't know what this is. That's for the volume and this is for the microphone, this is a logo. I don't know if it lights up or not. I do like the design and stuff, but um, it's yet to be tested out. I will be comparing this against um, against the Razer Tiamat. The wire is a little bit short, so I can't really show it. This is one of the best headsets I've had. It's a uh, 7.1, it's true surround, you can see the speakers. It has five speakers on each side. One thing I don't like is that it's not really adjustable. See, this? I think this is better on that one. 
See, I have put this in here because what it does, this one just pulls around your ears and then sits on your ears with these sides. So it's like, it, it's it's like around your head. It doesn't actually sit on your head because see, this is free. I don't know what's the use of that. It doesn't actually sit on your head. It sits on your ears, and that's that's very bad. It actually makes your ears uh, hurt. But this one, as you can see, you can adjust it from here. And then it will rest on your head, so your ears are not under uh, stress. And another headset I'm going to compare this to is uh, is this one. That's uh, Asus um, Strix 7.1. Uh, the cable is too short, so I don't uh, have this light on. But this has the same issue. It uh, doesn't sit on your head. It sits on your ears. And another bad issue with this is that these paddings they were like <laughs> not enough so your air was actually touching this inside and it was very very uncomfortable what I actually did I took these off I cut it open from the middle and I put more padding in there and sewed it back up so it's <laughs> it's terrible so you can see the uh, cut marks in there it's 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 really bad I have to say and the base on the Strix it's terrible but the surround it's it's amazing on these so I'm just saying because I always compare the headsets and stuff to each other so I can actually say what's better and what's worse. Definitely I can, uh, by the design I can already say that this doesn't sit on your ears but it actually sits on your head. However this is not a surround, this is like um, like how to say like a budget gaming headset. It's stereo. So I don't know it's yet to be tested and the microphone stuff so I will test it out shortly but First I want to connect it up and just see how it lights up. Um, actually, sorry, I don't know if you can connect it through the USB. If the USB is just for the power or if it's actually for the sound. I don't know, but I will let you know. I, I don't think it connects through the USB because it would need a separate sound card and it doesn't look like it has one. So, I mean built-in sound card, obviously. Uh, it might have, I don't know. I'm just assuming, that's my assumption. I haven't read any manuals or anything. I actually have another headset in here which I wanted to show you quickly. Quite old as you can see it's like uh, there off. This is Logitech G930. It's wireless. 7.1 virtual audio. It's it's quite decent headset I have to say. It's very decent. And this also has this, this adjustment thing that you can adjust it from here. This is a really good uh, feature and every headset should have it. Because the other headset I showed you the Razer and the uh, Asus They're absolutely terrible because they rest on your ears and it's just ugh. I know I mentioned it, but I mentioned it again because it really is terrible But uh, I'm gonna just test this out for the, with the USB first Look at that that is fucking awesome <laughs> Sorry language <laughs> Not really I Gotta have some strong language sometimes. It's it's cool. But look, look at that, that is awesome. That's, that's like an Alienware or something. Uh, I don't know if the microphone has a mute, mute thing. Let's, let's see. If I press the mute, it mm, doesn't actually show that it's muted. No, there's no red light, nothing. Uh, this is one of the things I would like to, like to say. And this control unit, it doesn't light up at all. Just a control unit. One of the things I would like to have is that this thing in here should turn uh, red when the microphone is muted. I would absolutely like this feature, it would be amazing, but unfortunately it doesn't have it, just blue. It's it's cool, it's really cool, but uh, I'm going to be connecting this up. I'll connect it straight up to the Asus um, pass-through because I can't bother uh, crawling behind my PC, so that's a good thing to have, a pass-through for speakers. Which this one doesn't doesn't have unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm gonna be testing this out, giving you the microphone comparison. I will be comparing it to the Blue Snowball, which I'm using right now, which is the best microphone I've ever had so far. And then I don't know. I'll give you the final thoughts on this, uh, how comfortable it is and stuff like this. So I will see you in a few seconds. Alright, and uh, here's the microphone test then. I'm recording this uh, at the same time with uh, Blue Snowball and uh, Caution um, each G2000 microphone. 
and well the comparison I don't know I'm gonna display them uh, both of the recordings I mean one after another uh, you'll just uh, read it from the screen at the bottom look at the bottom of the screen you'll see which microphone is playing and that's about it I did uh, listen to it uh, real quick and I I don't know I don't really like the quality but then again it's the cheaper range uh, gaming headset so it, it's good for that it's good for laptops and stuff for example I was actually testing it on the laptop it's it's really good just plugs into the USB and microphone and everything and that's it and to talk about the quality itself like the headset itself well it's it's not the most comfortable headset but um, it's it's not the worst either it's it's okay I'd say one of the problems I would like to mention is uh, what I mentioned with uh, Asus Strix is that the padding on the air cups it's 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 bad I mean the padding I mean it's not bad okay it's not bad but um, the padding it's not enough and your ears are actually touching that plastic inside the headset and that's that's uncomfortable and I would think that after a few hours of gaming with this your ears will be hurting like hell at least that's my opinion that's why I did the mod on the Asus Trix because it was just getting on my ears too much and now I swapped it out completely back to the Tiamat because I just couldn't take it anymore uh, as about the quality the base it's it's okay it's it's not the top of the range but it's okay uh, so it's good for music I definitely heard better bass for example the Tiamat it has amazing bass the G9930 uh, it has also good bass even though people are complaining about it but I don't know uh, it's it's decent bass it's it's nothing nothing special it's it's pretty much what you, what you'd expect from uh, this kind of range of uh, headset it's it's okay I'd say and anything else I don't know it's otherwise it's quite comfortable except the air cup things what I said the surround uh, I mean the surrounding noises it's it's not the best kind of you know isolation but but it's okay it's it's not the worst either I mean like I said this this is something you would expect uh, for this kind of uh, range so it's it's quite okay I'd say I'm not disappointed in this it's it's nothing special but I'm not disappointed either so uh, I don't know other than that it's it's kind of good headset I'd say and there is another thing I'd like to complain about is the, um, the volume wheel on the you know the headset thing I showed you well it is yeah it's it's not long enough so if you have the headset on it's like it's basically like <laughs> it's basically hanging between your legs <laughs> that's pretty much the distance where it where it reaches when you're sitting down <laughs> but and it's 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 I don't know it's quite um quite short I would expect it to be a little bit longer so you can actually put it on the table but um, but yeah it's it's not long enough and then the wheel itself on the, um, the volume wheel, as I was talking about it, the volume wheel, it's it has no markings on it, so you have no idea how much volume you actually have. So you have to actually put the headset on and then turn it on uh, either minimum or maximum, and by that you can you can say you can see, I mean see, you can feel where the where the volume actually is, and also the microphone mute button on it, it's. it's looks quite flimsy and if you like mute it then my headset starts doing like this noise I have no idea what that is about absolutely no idea I tested it on my netbook I plugged in the microphone I plugged in the, the headset and it was doing the I don't know why maybe it's because the sound card I don't know it's not supposed to do that but I've seen this and I've heard that even with a higher set, higher grade uh, headset, so not really sure what's causing it. But it might not be the fault of the headset, but hard to say. I don't think it actually is, but I just noticed that if I turn the volume up, I'm not even using it. I just have it on my head because I was doing a review on it. And when I put the volume up, I can hear myself speaking through the headset. I mean, it records it from the microphone and outputs from the headset 
it's it's quiet but the purpose for that is that usually the gaming headsets have this so if you're like in a battle like a lot of shooting a lot of grenades explosions cars driving flying people screaming <laughs> then uh, you are not gonna start screaming over that because that's how human brain works if you can't hear yourself talking then you usually start talking louder and louder and louder and this is why the headsets they usually output the mic microphone input into the headset so you you can actually hear yourself through the headset and you're not gonna start you know over talking yourself so uh, it does have this effect but I have to I really have to put it on the maximum the um, volume so I I don't know but that's that's again how it's supposed to be that only if you're like really loud then you can actually hear yourself it's it's good feature to have it really is because usually you just start you know talking too loud but yeah other than that it's, it's a fair headset I'd say make your own decision if you like it or not but I'd say it's it's quite okay so and I will see ya next time